most of y'all I got my sneaker boxes stay tuned for the video I hope you like and subscribe to my channel this right here is my husband's shelf I used to have my shoes up there with his but it just took up so much space then I decided to buy this shelf right here. I really liked it. It was $20 from TJ Maxx. I think the shoes were too heavy for it because it ended up snapping and all the plastic broke. Since the shelf broke, all of my shoes have been sitting in this corner. And some of these shoes cost a lot of money. So I know I needed to protect my investment. I figure I might as well just go ahead and get the containers. So they are here. I only ordered five cases. I know that's not going to be enough, but it's a start. This is my collection here. Some of my shoes, I cleaned them up and I donated them. And this is everything that I have left. This is what I'm going to be keeping. And I'm going to put them into the boxes now. I bought the large boxes when I really could have bought the smaller boxes, but I'll go into more detail about that later. That's it all of them are out of the box and you saw how some of them didn't have the doors attached which I think they probably fell off during shipping
part y'all this is what I have left that I don't have enough boxes for and it doesn't even matter because most of these are beaters anyway I only really want to put my graffitis in the boxes but everything else they they don't have to go in the box so these are my shoes inside of my containers it's so easy to just pull it open I have wear a size 7 and I, this is the large boxes like I said but if I push my shoe all the way back you see how much room I have it's a lot of room so I definitely could have just ordered the small boxes instead of the large ones that would have saved me $60 that's it I don't have to put my shoes sideways at all if I want to I can but I don't have to this is the spacing if you're going to order the large you have that much space at the top and a little bit in the front and I'm going to show you on a high top and find the highest one that I have Probably my highest shoe, probably just going to be these um, Dornbeckers because they're a little bit tall and I just want to show you how, what the height is as far as if you had a taller shoe, but still have a lot of room in here with the large case. And then I absolutely have to have a box for these, uh, my Laser 15s. They definitely can't be sitting out like this. So I'm going to order a one more case of um, six. So I'll get those in the box. Right here is my dead stock pair of Bread 11s. I don't need a box for these just yet because I'm, I'm going to keep them in here anyway. And then these are my everyday pair of breads. I wear these all the time. Just so that I don't have to mess up my bed stock pair. But everything is in the box. Here you have it. What I'm most excited about this year is the Flint 13 release. I cannot wait to get my hands on those again. Um, just let me know what you are really excited about copping. And thank you so much for watching my video. Hit that subscribe button so you can watch more. And I'll see you soon.